Hey there. This is the most important lesson that I think is in this package. And this is how to structure your PM interview. There's seven clear steps that work for pretty much every single product management interview. And most often the classic mistakes are not doing one of these seven steps. So let's walk through them together. First, listen. Listen carefully to what your interviewer is asking you. Listen about how to go about the problem. Listen about what they're asking for in terms of what you actually want to get out of it. Often it's really helpful to take down some notes while you're listening so that you remember the clear points that your interviewer is mentioning. Secondly, before you jump into a question, before you jump into an answer, give a question back. Do not immediately answer the question at all costs. Tell the interviewer that you're thinking about the question by asking deeper questions. Get some scope on the question. Understand, if your interviewer mentioned something vague, clarify that. Even if you have no questions to ask, tell the interviewer your strategy or your structure or how you're thinking about the problem and ask your interviewer, does this sound okay? Third, pause. Gosh, I cannot tell you how many PM interviewees do not do this and it completely ruins their answer. Take at least 10 seconds, I prefer 20, to just pause and think about the question. In an actual practice at a company like Google, you're not going to make product decisions like this. You're going to take time, think about the question, and then give a clear, cogent response. So make sure that you do that in the interview that you're giving. Four, structure your answer. As you pause, take some time to think about how you're going to go about this question. What frameworks are you going to use? One of the most popular frameworks that I recommend PM interviewees use is the broad than deep uh, strategy. So basically when you are asked a question, list four or five different options and then pick the option that you think is the best and articulate why you think it's the better than the other options you've articulated. Generally, this is a good strategy, but overall there's many different structures and frameworks that you can use and some of them are listed here throughout this lesson. That said, just a warning. Do not over apply frameworks. It is super obvious to an interviewer that you are just going through a framework. In fact, that's why this course does not overuse frameworks at all. We recommend that you come up with your own structure for the interview question as long as you're making it clear to the interviewer. Fifth, give your answer. This is your time to tell the interviewer what you're thinking. Walk through your answer in full detail. Give clear benchmarks and signposts of where you're going and how you're going there. So if you're done with the first part of your structure, tell the interviewer, I'm done with the first part of my structure and now I'm moving on to the second. Be really clear with your interviewer. This can go miles ahead of the competition if you just have a clear structure. Six, pivot and check in. Throughout the answer that you're giving, take time to just check in with your interviewer. Maybe you want to just ask them, Am I on the right track here? Or you can even say, I thought about this, but I'm not going to touch on it unless you'd like me to go into further detail. Feel free to give varying degrees of check-ins throughout the interview, but don't make it too obnoxious. Just check in every now and then to make sure that you and your interviewer are on the same page. A pro tip here, learn how to effectively pivot your answer. So if you are giving an answer and you realize it's wrong halfway through, say something like, and now I realize that the answer that I'm giving isn't actually the direction I want it to go in because of reasons X, Y, and Z. Therefore, I'd like to take a few moments to pause and to think about my answer and how I'd like to restructure it. Take a few moments and then give a clear analysis of why you want to change direction and why you think your new answer is the better answer. Last, number seven, summarize your answer. At the very end, summarize what you just went through how you're thinking about that question, and now's the chance to add a little few caveats. So mention about maybe, hey, actually, I would like to mention that there's a qualitative trade-off here. Um, if we go with this product, there's actually something pathological that might occur as a result. Feel free to give some analyses here, some trade-offs here, and just a general critique of your answer so that you can anticipate your interviewer's questions.